YouTube, what's up? Juju Bear here, welcome back. We're going to be jumping back into alternate history with Juju Bear. We're playing as the Greeks and we're going to be building ourselves a strong economy. Um, we're focusing on getting paired up with a, a couple of city-states. Um, reasons being is it will help us out defensively because that'll give us a, a little bit of a, a buffer zone. It'll give us a little bit of a buffer zone between ourselves and the um, the increasingly aggressive um, Nebuchadnezzar. And it will also give us a lot of benefits um, and take advantage of our, our specific or unique abilities, which is our, um, our uh, influence with city-states degrades it at half and recovers it at double. So let's keep on moving on. We were going to buy... Um, Tears influence back from ne Nebuchadnezzar, but we thought better of it because we were just um, missing out in terms of um, like if I bought it now, I would get 25 influence, but that's equal to the same influence that Babylon has currently. So it might pay off just to wait another couple of turns before we go ahead and do that. I have a feeling Tear is going to be one big old headache. Um, yeah, and it would it would definitely help having them on our side if um, Nebuchadnezzar de declares war on us. Oh, so annoying. It is so annoying. So we want ivory. Who's got ivory? Probably nobody. Um, Genoa. It, it might even pay off just buying out Genoa, really. How much do I need? 43. Wow. Oops. So we need at least a thousand gold to get them on our side. We we really want Tia. That's what we want. We need more spies, actually. We can get them on our side. Anyway, we're going to move this worker out and, and build a trading post on this on this jungle tile when that pikeman moves. We are making quite a bit of money, almost a, a hundred gold per turn. So it shouldn't take us long at all to start to start building up some of these relations. I'm thinking once we hit the 1000 mark, we can we can jump on tier and drop a whole bunch of money on them. Um, how are we doing actually in terms of money? Gold per turn, sixth. So not, not heaps well. Um, we're, we're actually climbing the ladder slowly but surely. surely um, our science is doing pretty good. Our population is not doing too well just because we've been unhappy for such a long time. The discussion so for the leader has two and you have one. 36 turns remain. I was thinking maybe we want to get these guys on our side. Do we have spices already? <gasps> we don't. So we wanna we wanna get this um improved fairly quickly so we can get that plus plus four on uh, four happiness. Argos is gonna be very helpful in our in our battle against a lot of enemies um, because it's enabled us a, a good spot to, to get a good connection with a couple of these different city-states. So we did find the Barrington Crater, which is going to give us some happiness. If we can bring, a, bring ourselves over here and plop down a city, that would also be quite helpful as well. Maybe down here or something. Um, it's not so far away that we can't defend ourselves. And it's also right near uh, Brazil, and it'll give us a good opportunity to, to develop relationships with them. Alright, Nebuchadnezzar's... Oh, fuck. Nebuchadnezzar's gonna... Launch a sneak attack against us. Great. So we're gonna have to beef up our defenses, defenses fairly quickly. Luckily we have a fair bit of money. I'm gonna buy out Tia before this happens. Um, yep, let's just go ahead and do that straight away. So at least they're going to be, you know, firing on a lot of these different Babylonian units that are around. It doesn't look like there are any enemy units coming from down here. He's only got one Gatling gun. But we're going to have to start building a couple of these musket men ASAP. Um, I'm just going to put myself on, uh, def oh, sorry, production focus. 
once we're done with this workshop in this in uh, Athens, we're going to have to start building up some more musket men there also. No doubt Arabia is probably going to be on our side. Maybe we can get him. Maybe we can um, get him on our side with a defensive pact. Yep. Cool. Let's get a defensive pact going. Not at all acceptable. No. Okay. How about if you declare war? Declare war. On, oh no, okay, they've got a peace treaty already going. Alright. Whatever, man. We're just gonna have to wait and build up our own defenses ourselves. So, we can upgrade to crossbowmen, but we don't have enough money just yet. We do have generals fanging about, so that's gonna help us immensely. We just need to make sure that we get out some of these, um, Compound interest Some of these musket men, they're going to be imperative to our defense. Alright, so what are we looking at here? We're going to have to probably start working on some trading posts down there. So I'm just going to have this knight down here fucking shit up, being annoying. Screwing around with their, um, their city-state connections. We are maximizing our trade routes available, though we will want to get some defenses I mean oh let's let's just have a look at this so he he could potentially come from over here um, he's gonna come over land uh, over the over the sea now if he does that we're gonna have to have a couple of defensive units in these cities I think my best bet is going for a couple of these cannons 14 turns. Yeah, not too bad. Um, I, I would really like to have a cannon in every single city. I think that's where I would like to be at. Um, but I don't know how possible that is. Let's just have a look and see. See, Arabia is friends with them, which is good. Arabia is friends with them, which is also good. Um, Kathmandu is at... No, Arabia is friends with them as well, so that's also good. We can actually take out that city there. We cleared it for Kathmandu. We might be able to get friends with them. 80, no. So we're going to need a lot more money than that. Um, yeah, whatever. So at this point, we're going to have to build a lot of cannons, I think. That's going to be our best bet. Uh, open borders with Gandhi, sure. Maybe we can get a, a an agreement with um with the Austrians. Ooh, new new unit from Hanoi. Let's get this unit back here. Oh, great! We got a musket man from Hanoi. That's excellent. Good, good. I'm gonna pull him down here because we've got next to no military down south. We'll see if we can make a defensive pact with them. Yes, good. So, now if, if Nebuchadnezzar declares war on us, then Austria has to, has to, to enter the war on our side. So that's always going to be very helpful for us. Um, can we buy these guys out? No, 44. Wow, we, we are not making much culture per turn at all. So we've overlapped, um, overtaken Harun al-Rashid in terms of um, in terms of um, uh, points. We want to remain in this positive happiness. Um, I want to start buying out a couple of other city-states here, though. Who wants money? Kabul does, but they're pretty far away. Hanoi, where are you? See, they're up here, but they are paired with uh, Nebuchadnezzar. That's excellent that we got a, a, a musket man just before. They stopped. One, two, three. I wish we would grow our borders faster. Fuck, it's taking ages. I guess it is epic game pace. But still, fuck. Good, that makes me feel a little bit better having a unit down south. Now, remember what I was saying about the trading posts? They're, they're now creating plus two gold for every single trading post. 
on top of the science and the and the and the fucking food on every single tile. So that's good. Uh, we got Babylonian workers coming down south. Would it help to have these guys? In a defensive pact. Yes. Good. I wonder. I wonder if we could get England in a defensive pact with us as well. Uh, man, this is tech. This is tactical as fuck. This is so good. Go ahead. Will you? No, she won't. I beg your what about open borders? Come on, let's be friendly. Let's be civilized. God. She doesn't want a word. Uh, she doesn't want uh, um, a peep out of it. So we're gonna go for library in Corinth. Just boost up our our science generation. We're not doing too bad. Like we're not. Approval. I can't understand why we're coming last, but you know, whatever. It's probably because we we took a couple of settlements from from enemies, Reese, quite recently. Um, in this city, there's not a whole lot we can do so far. I think we're gonna go for the stable just to increase our production in this um, in this city. I, I'm liking how Argos is turning out. It's lo it's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that so far. Vilnius desires marble. I know that someone had marble. I can't remember who. Um, someone did have a spare marble, and I think it was. I think it was once upon a time it was Babylon, but. Yeah. Or maybe Maria. That's right. No one has marble at the moment, so we might just have to wait for that one. Vatican City. What do you want? Nothing. So we're still we're still working on a musket man. This is good. I'm liking how this is all coming together. I I do want to settle a city down. Oh, where was this going? Previous route which is was to Genoa. Do we have any better options? Um. Wow. Yeah, Athens to Salzburg, but that's going to go past Mecca. Though I don't think I care. What I might have to do eventually is get some um, ships up here. Um, actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to get a couple of my caravels um, over here. It's going to take like 14 turns for most of them, but... Vatican City wants something. What do they want? Natural wonder. Gems, good. Give me your money. Good. A couple of things are coming together now. It's good. We're on a bit of a roll. Uh, and it's all going to come to a grinding halt uh, once we get it. Wow. Oh, man. He's got riflemen as well. And he's got lances. Fuck. All right. It'd help to have Genoa on our side. Um, oh, my God. Look at this. Well, I think this is where we say goodbye. <laughs> uh, man, we're gonna get wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Let's go go hard for this um for this cannon. We're gonna have to bring some units up. Doesn't really look like anything's happening down here for the enemy. Um, oh man, it doesn't look good. It does not look good. Yeah, these lances have a have a, a bonus versus cavalry as well. Um, we'll see if these guys want to um, get a defensive pact. Not at all acceptable. What will make this work? Nothing. Oops. Shall we declare war against Nebuchadnezzar? No, nope, not in his best interest. Okay, so he's not interested in doing that. Um, okay. Fuck, I kept, like, I, I really, yeah, look at that, soldiers, oh, where are we, eighth, man, that's bad, he's got a very good army, and we have a very bad, a very bad army, um, at this point, so, I, I'm feeling pretty good about defending, uh, this flank, just because we've got a city-state that's allied with us, and, uh, Naj run over there, so we're gonna move a couple of units over here 
just to better defend ourselves. Yes, give us more money. We desperately need it. Um, the musket men are going to be where it's at. We're, we're just going to have to hold them up. Um, the thin red line uh, will just be, you know, spread amongst here. And we'll just have to hold them at this point. Um, there's not really anything that we can do against all of that. <laughs> oh, man, look at them go. Fuck. So, this was previously going to Mecca. Um, I now know that I'm not going to go to Mecca. Definitely not. So instead, I can go to where? Salvador. Wow, that's interesting. That'll get us a bit of science. And I don't mind doing that. That's good. Genoa gives us quite a bit of gold, though. Yep, I'm going to do that. We're, we're going to need some some um, defensive units along this, this coast here. So from here, we can get some crossbowmen. I know that's kind of old uh, technology, but it's the best that we've got at the moment. Lhasa, what do they want? No. So we don't really want them on our side because they're a religious city-state. So we can ignore that for the moment. Looks like we're just going to get overwhelmed over here, so I'm going to pull back my units. We're going to have to set up our defenses a little bit further back, I think. Um, what do we get here? Uh, cargo ship, previous one was to Genoa. Klagenfurt is good. Oh, Genoa gets us so much money though. Yeah, we want Genoa. I'm just going to keep this guy down here to keep an eye on, on, on any developments down there. Let's get this um, these units back to defend. We may end up having to construct a citadel around here somewhere. Um, because I'm not confident that we're going to be able to defend ourselves properly. Once we get into the battle, um, we'll see how we go, but I'm, I, I reckon we're going to get absolutely trounced, absolutely destroyed. Um, we'll need a couple of cannon, uh, but for now I'm going to have to build maybe a Gallius uh, and a couple of caravels to bring up here along this coast. 500 gold, is that going to be enough? No, we're going to need 1,000. Um, over here, let's keep on working on those cannons. We want to have one in every city, as I said before, so we'll keep going with that. Now, this general I'm probably going to end up using for um, for a citadel. I'm probably going to have to build one around here somewhere and just defend from it because there's going to be an absolute onslaught coming down um, our direction. Uh, Austria has run its course. We need to become friends with them again. Grüß Gott. That will work. Good. We still have defensive pact, which is good. So if Nebuchadnezzar um, declares war on us, he's going to be making himself a lot of enemies, which is excellent. So we've put him in a very awkward position um, at this point. Argos is growing. Um, that's good. We are in positive happiness, which is great. We do have a couple of friends. Tia is, uh, is on our side and they're going to be okay. So let's get our best units up the front here. Good. Look at this cunt. What a dick. Zanzibar wants Vatican City bullied. Not going to happen. Let's adopt a policy. Okay, so we want patronage. I know I jumped on that pretty quickly, but it's, it's logical. <laughs> we're going to want a lot of these city-states on our side. In order to do that... You know, we're going to have to start spending a lot of money. And, um... Ooh. They're encroaching on a territory there. I'm not sure how happy I am about that. Oh. Yep, so for now, let's keep our range units in cities where we can. Let's defend. Put this unit in front. Okay. 
Fortify. 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 Alright guys, there goes my time. So, thanks for joining us. Um, catch us next time. We're about to get into a war with Nebuchadnezzar, the most powerful sieve in this match. Um, we'll see how that, that turns out. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining. Bye.